It's a real pleasure to be here today because statistically I shouldn't be here giving this speech. So it was just a regular day at the gym, warming up just like any other day that I've been and all of a sudden I felt shortness of breath, weight on my chest. After the warm up I looked across the room and I realised Jay was having a bit of an asthma issue. So I, I went over, basically started to do basic obs on him, get him to breathe through his puffer. But in that 20 seconds, it went from him responding to me to he now ceased responding. And at that point I realised that he was in cardiac arrest. And then two bad things happened. <laughs> One, the gym didn't have a defibrillator, which was terrifying. Um, and luckily another gym patron said, I'm gonna go find one, and he ran out. And then the person who was sending for help with the ambulance told me it was 13 minutes away, that it wasn't close. So I did CPR for about seven minutes. Then the defibrillator came, it was a, a thank God moment. It was hooked up, we shocked Jay. He didn't come back, I recommenced CPR for another three minutes. But at that point I was, I was exhausted, I was gassed, I couldn't do it anymore. And then the ambulance arrived, as well as the fire department, uh, and then they took over. But it was a huge moment for CJ coming out and he was awake. It was a huge moment to go to the hospital a day later um, and, and get to talk to Jay again. And we'd only known each other for uh, a month prior to that occurring. And now I'm, I'm really proud to say he's one of my best mates. So thank God we had a defibrillator that came. And thank God that I did get the training with St. John. There's no chance that I would have survived here without a defib. If you look at the numbers, it's, it's one in six people throughout everyone's lifetime so the fact that they're not absolutely everywhere is a little disappointing but it's great to see St John making a change and trying to make sure one in six people has that defib there when they need it. We want to place as many defibrillators in the community as we can and so we would like to see that 50% of all patients are receiving a shock from a defibrillator in the event that they have a sudden cardiac arrest. We need to have more in the community. We need to have them in all public spaces, and we need to have them in any area where someone is going to be remote, but at least with another person. And we need to have more training within the community so people have the confidence to use them as well. The great thing about the St. John defibrillator is that it's almost idiot proof. Essentially, it will tell you what to do and when to do it. As long as you follow the instructions and just keep calm, uh, you'll be able to save life. AEDs save lives, and that's one of the primary reasons why I'm here, able to talk to you today.